So here's a, an example of just doing one of the homework problems. This is not one of the assigned ones, but it's similar. So I'm doing number 17 on page 717, 9.8, if you want to have a look at it. Um, so here's our series. Um, I've already started by laying out a sub n plus 1 over a sub n. That's where all these start. We look at um, the ratio test. And uh, so for this sequence, that a sub n plus 1 over a sub n is going to be x sub n, x to the n plus 1 over n plus 1 to the 4th times 4 to the n plus 1, and then times, and then I flip that over, and we get n fourth times 4 to the n over x to the n. So then I just look and see, you know, what cancels and what should I lump together. So I should probably put the n fourth and the n plus 1 over 4, uh, n plus 1 to the 4th together. So I have n fourth over n plus 1 to the 4th, and then... Uh, I have x on the top, and I have 4 on the bottom, and that's what I got. All right, so now I can say the limit as n approaches infinity of the absolute value of a sub n plus 1 over a sub n is equal to the limit as n approaches infinity of n to the 4th over n plus 1 to the 4th times x over 4. And then I can split that limit up. The positive part is uh, the n fourth. Uh, over n plus 1 to the 4th, so that equals limit as n approaches infinity of n to the 4th over n plus 1 to the 4th. I'm bringing that out of the absolute value because it's positive. And I'm also going to separate out the um, x over 4 from the limit because it doesn't have any n's in it. So I have absolute value x over 4. All right, so that's what that is. And then I can observe that this limit, since the degree of the uh, denominator is 4 and the degree of the numerator is 4, and the leading coefficients top and bottom are both 1, that equals 1. So this equals 1 times absolute value x over 4. So um, the series converges for absolute value of x over 4 less than 1. And at some point, if I'm justifying this fully, I should say by uh, ratio test. Then I just solve uh, this inequality, absolute value of x over 4 less than 1. So negative 1 is less than x over 4 is less than 1. Multiplying by 4, negative 4 is less than x is less than 4. So I already know that the series converges between negative 4 and 4. But we're always in these problems going to be looking at what are the endpoints of the interval of convergence. So to do the endpoints, we have to look at what happens if x equals negative 4. So if x equals negative 4, what does my series end up looking like? Well, I just put negative 4 for the n up there. So I have um, the sum from n equals 1. If it was at n equals 1 or n equals 0, it, it just doesn't matter. I think it was n equals 0. n equals 0. The, the reason it doesn't matter is the series either converges or it doesn't. It was not gonna, you could throw the first term out, and the series is still going to either converge or not. And so with, since we're not saying what it converges to, it, if we throw away one term, it doesn't matter. However, I'm pretty sure it starts with n equals 0, because that's our technical definition of a power series. Anyway, if I put in negative 4 for the uh, x, I get negative 4 to the nth power. Uh, over n to the fourth power, um, 4 to the n. So here's where I have to sort of look carefully and try and spot things. Like um, I have negative 4 to the n over 4 to the n, so I could bring the exponent out and call it negative 4 over 4 to the n, which I could then reduce and call it negative 1 to the n. So these two just reduce to be negative 1 to the n, and then I have times 1 over n to the fourth. Now this is an alternating series, so I don't want to talk about it being a p-series because it's, it's an alternating series, so I should use alternating series test. So I can say um, limit as n approaches infinity of 1 over n to the fourth equals 0. So the series converges by the alternating series test. And I have to cite that um, I have to, for each one of these uh, endpoints, I have to cite a reason why the series converges. Maybe it would be a comparison series or something. So then I have, uh, next one I'll do x equals 4. So I have sum from n equals 0 to infinity. This time I'm going to put in 4 for the x. So I'll have 4 to the n over n to the 4th times 4 to the n. This one's even nicer because the 4, n, 4 to the n's just cancel out directly. n equals 0 to infinity um, of 1 over n to the 4th, and then I don't need any special test because that's just a p-series. So I say converges, but I have to say why it converges, because uh, it 
is a P series with P greater than one. Uh, so now I know that the interval of convergence is negative four to four. And all this work of checking the endpoints was just about are these brackets square or round? Since both of the um, endpoints converged, the interval of convergence is closed and has square brackets on both sides. And then I can say that the radius of convergence equals four. All right, so if you just think geometrically, we're, we're centered at zero, we're going from negative four to four, the radius is four. You can also think, by the way, that that radius con of convergence is B minus A over two, where this is A and this is B, if, if you think more analytically than visually. All right, so all of the homework is just asking you, they're giving you some series, they're asking you for the interval of convergence and the radius of convergence. You're gonna start with ratio test, you're gonna set up an inequality, you're gonna solve the inequality, you're gonna look at the, the inequality is always not equal to, as we say, strictly less than. Um, then you're gonna check the endpoints separately using your knowledge of series, and then you're gonna make a final statement about the interval of convergence, and then you're gonna state the radius of convergence. And I only gave you like, I think, five problems so do each one meticulously, look at it carefully, and uh, do your best on it.